Hello everyone, Eduardo here with Wise Option. We are in the Remuda, the Remuda is on the road. And today we did a quick stop at Weems and Stevens Hospital in Auburn, Texas. And today I have with me Christopher Thomas. Is that right, Chris? Yes. All right, Chris, tell us a little bit about your position here at Weems and Stevens. I'm uh, one of the practice managers here at the hospital. And so far I have been the project manager on implementing um, the transition from HVMS to Wise Option Practice Software. All right. So where are we today? So let's let's re recap here. So we we are using it for two billing cycles. Yeah. We just completed our second billing cycle at the beginning of the month. So we're kind of at the phase now where you, as you said, you detoxed us from <laughs> the previous software, and uh, um, and and that's that's really true because a couple times just in the past week I've had. A couple different people have to go to HVMS for something and they're like oh I don't I have to remember how to do this now uh -huh. so they their mind has already been retrained in the new system and that muscle memory is no longer there for yeah the previous that's, system. that's true how hard was your first and second billing cycle the first billing cycle when we actually ran billing was a pleasant surprise in comparison to the oh, is that right? Yes, okay. because we would spend a really large amount of time on the day that we would run billing, just running the billing and, and printing the statements and just the entire process that the, the front office manager has to do to initiate that. And it went from hours to 30 minutes. Oh, that's you great know. to hear. I think um, that, that's music to my ears. Mm -hmm. From the first cycle to the second billing cycle, was what was the difference we knew the the process that our process that we have is probably different from a lot of other hospitals and how we finish the the billing for invoices being completed and things of that nature but we had a better understanding of the process it's still quite different than before and so uh -huh. i still think that it'll take another one to two billing cycles with some potential assistance i got you um before our front office manager can just run with it and go. Okay. Um, but uh, uh, if we had to do all of it, the repro and the stallion piece of it, then then that would be a lot on one person, I think. So that since we are kind of divided in those three different categories, that each category can handle that piece of the billing, and then they just let us know they're done, and then we move from that point on. Okay. And uh, so it's it's a a nice process how it's laid out on the billing report where you've got your your cascade of icons. It's like your order. Of yes. You do this first, and you just keep it's moving like a down checklist. the line. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and so the since you only do it once a month, that's where the difficulty with that comes into play. Gotcha. Is because it's not something you're doing every day, and that muscle memory takes a lot longer to really. And build. the checklist reminds you. Right. How to. Exactly. And uh, so I that's see. why I think that it will take three, four billing cycles before we feel like we can run solo on it. Um, okay. That's just a, my personal opinion. Okay. But, uh, but tell me about the world out there. How did your customers get the new system? I think that it was well received. Uh, they, I think that overall the clients that are willing to be electronic, you know, they're, That's they're the ones piece. that will take the full advantage of the new system with oh, us and, and our relationship with the client. Um, because they can now access more information than what they were able to access in the previous software. Previous software, they could only see their balance that they owed and make a payment. Okay. So now they can go in, they can see their account, they can see the information on their account as far as their addresses, and they can send their uh, their update that they would like to for us to approve and, and push forward to their account. They can add horses if they... Uh, wish to do so if they want to establish a horse and not having to pick up the phone and call us. Uh -huh. I think that a lot of people appreciate that. Oh, and and then being able to go in and see their account history, as far as their payments, their all their invoices, and one thing that I think that we will see in a year is all the people that call and say, "I need the statement for my billing for last year." Now they will not need to call. They us just change the date. They can 
they can open it up and, That's great. and get it themselves. I see. There may be a little bit of training on the client end to let them know, hey, you can actually do this yourself, but we'll get there. Customer is one thing. Now, now you guys have the mobile app. How is it about mobile app here? That it's funny because you made the comment the other day that we we didn't have a mobile app before, <laughs> and then now all of a sudden we do have, uh -huh. and there are, there are now these urgent issues that come up like, hey, I needed to do this, or or I don't know how to do this. Um, the ability for our technicians to enter treatments at the stall, I think, is kind of a game changer for the hospital in regards to now they're not all sharing a desktop back in the lab that they've got to bring all that information back from the barns. So there's no more fight for in. the terminal. Exactly. And, and things are just entered. They can be standing by the stall and they can put in a progress note of how the horse's appearance, you know, in the stall, right alert, responsive, whatever. Take the vitals and check yeah. the things that's and, done, which it builds automatically yeah. as well. And, and just putting everything in right then and there. And then once they are done out there, then they can go to their next thing and they don't have to come that's back here awesome. and take that amount of time to enter all that stuff. That's in. awesome. So I that's think awesome. That's, it's going to be a, a big piece. Uh, the other element to that is, is with us being a 24 seven emergency hospital, for our on-call doctors in the evenings, being able to pull up an account from home and seeing who it is. Do we have an account? Is the account in good standing before I wake up at 2 a.m. in the morning and drive down there and see yes. a horse that could potentially be an issue uh, on the billing side of things? So that is going to be a huge change for us, a very positive change. 